Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Shoei GT Air 2 helmet. The GT Air 2, as the name suggests, is a sequel to the GT Air, a really popular helmet from Shoei, a sporty touring helmet. The GT Air was one of Shoei's first helmets to feature an internal sun visor. You still get one of those in the GT Air 2, thankfully. The reason Shoei were late to introduce an internal sun visor was that they didn't want to reduce the protective polystyrene liner thickness to accommodate the visor sliding up and down inside the helmet. They found their own solution to that by adding a chamber, which you see on the GT Air 2 here, to the outer shell. So there's an extra chamber around the outside that the visor slides up and down into, and that means you can get full thickness EPS, the polystyrene, and you can get the internal sun visor. You don't have to choose between the two. And the shell is made from Shoei's Advanced Integrated Matrix, which is a combination of lightweight fibers sandwiched between two external layers of fiberglass to give a good combination of elasticity and strength. This helmet, which is a size medium, weighs in on our scales at 1542 grams, which I'd say is about average for this size and style of helmet. There are dedicated cutouts at the base of the shell, which are there to accommodate Senna's SRL2 Bluetooth intercom, which is designed to work with this helmet. So the control unit sits in the cutout at the base on the left-hand side here. The battery for that intercom tucks into this pocket. Remove that foam, and that gives you space for the battery to sit inside. And then there are recesses on the internal lining that accommodate the speakers. Airflow for the GT Air 2 comes from a combination of this top vent, which is chunky, really easy to operate, two-stage sliding vent there. And then there's a chin vent here, which opens up and allows a good amount of cooling air through to the rider's mouth. The customer reviews are all very positive about the amount of cooling air that's brought in through those vents and some customers actually have said that it can get a little bit chilly inside the helmet if you ride with those vents fully open on a cold day. So moving on to the visor, it's the same CNS1 model of visor that was used on the original but Shoei have revised the mounting plates on which that visor sits. What that's allowed is a smaller initial opening of the visor. One of the complaints about the original GT Air was that you had a bigger gap on the first stage of opening and that too much air was being brought through and it also allowed debris and bugs to come in. So this one, you can sit that visor just open by a crack to get a cooling amount of air in. It's a quick release visor. It's pretty simple to change. And the visor is also, as you would expect from Shoei, pinlock protected, max vision, and it's a pinlock Evo insert, which is the most absorbent of all of their inserts. The visor operates with this left hand situated tab which has a hook that just secures against the seal to give you a more secure closure at the bottom. So let's go back to that sun visor that I told you about earlier, the one that sits in this chamber on the shell. That's another big revision for the GT Air 2 compared to the original GT Air. It extends by a further five millimetres, so it comes down further to give you greater coverage against glare from sunlight, which is something that a lot of customers, people who've had the GT Air and the GT Air 2, say is a big upgrade over the two models. There's also been a change to this cut around the nose. That's been made a little bit bigger just to create extra room because having that visor extend further means it's more likely to conflict with your nose. So they've increased the size of that cut to create a bit of extra space. And that sun visor now extends almost to this breath guard. One thing to note with this helmet is the breath guard is supplied in the accessories pack, which is inside the box. So don't just chuck the box out. You need to have a delve around and find that. The sun visor on the GTA 2 is anti-mist coated, so you're always gonna get good clear vision even on the colder days and it operates on this side switch on the left. So it's quite discreet and simple to use. So moving to the inside, the interior is made from Shoei's 3D Max material. So the foam for this helmet is cut to suit the shape of a rider's face, rather than being flat foam that's then bent into shape. The fabric that covers that foam is moisture wicking, and Shoei say that will dry twice as quickly as a normal brushed nylon liner. 
The cheek pads have emergency release tabs, which makes life easier at the scene of an accident, and there's a removable chin curtain to reduce drafts and hopefully keep the ride a bit quieter. There's a premium build quality that you get with Japanese manufacturers like Shoei, and that really comes through with the GT Air interior, which is a step above the norm. The final change that I'd say is really noteworthy on the GT Air 2 compared to the original GT Air is that it now has a micrometric strap fastener. On the old helmet, it was D-rings, which was something that was UK only. The rest of Europe had this micrometric strap fastener. But when it came to being updated, everybody, regardless of whether we're UK or the rest of Europe, gets this micrometric strap fastener. One of the most common questions I'd say around helmets is when people want to know whether paying extra for a helmet like a Shoei, like this GT Air 2, what does that give you when you spend that extra money? Now, there's a, like I said, there's something about the build quality when you come to a Japanese helmet that really does step above. The liners are always a little bit better. The paint has just got a really nice finish to it. But there are other little details as well. With any helmet, sometimes you need to adjust the tension of the pin lock. And that can mean delving inside there with a pair of pliers and twisting the pins to move them further apart or closer together to adjust the tension. You don't have to do that with Shoei. Inside is this little tool that sits around the pin so you can just spin it and adjust the tension. It's a tiny thing but it's that sort of detail for me that makes a helmet manufacturer like Shoei stand out above most of the others. I hope that gives you everything you want to know about the Shoei GT Air 2 helmet but if there's anything you'd like to know about it that we've not covered please pop your question in the comment section below and we'll come back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.